Hi guys and welcome back to the Lena Buria podcast. Today I want to talk about Britney Spears um, because she's been on my mind. This whole free Britney movement, it sounds mad. I don't know if it's straight up conspiracy theories, I don't know how much truth there is to it. I've been a Britney fan since day one. Ever since I heard Baby One More Time, I have been part of the Britney Army gang. Um, I must admit, she lost me a little bit around about the Femme Fatale album era. I didn't really feel that, but she brought it back. Oh, and the, um, the Britney Jean. Britney Jean era wasn't as bad as people made it out to be, but it wasn't her best work. I think she brought it back with Glory for me. Glory is probably Britney's most understated album. Uh, it is up there with Blackout, in my opinion, and that's coming from a hardcore Britney fan. Um, but we're not here to talk about her music. We are here to talk about this theory that Britney is basically being held against her will and is having all aspects of her life completely controlled and that she's not in the space that she wants to be. Now, as a long-term fan of hers, her current behaviour, her Instagram page is quite strange to say the least. Like, I don't think she's completely wackadoo. I just think it's slightly out of character for her. And I think, I don't know, like, if you're to go with the conspiracy theories and say that she's been held against her will, maybe her Instagram is kind of her acting out. I'm not playing ball until I've got my life back and I'm going to self-sabotage. But then if she doesn't have the control that the conspiracy theory, the Britney, the free Britney, um, are, um, what am I trying to say? The people behind the free Britney movement are saying that she doesn't have access to her own social media, then someone else is posting on her behalf. Why would someone else post such erratic videos from her, such strange videos from her? Unless they are trying to portray her in a way that shows her as being crazy, in a way to diminish her character and maintain their power over her, over her. So I feel like I've just kind of waffled that out a bit. Let's go back to the beginning where she has her meltdown um, back in 2007, I think it was where she shaved her head and there's photographs of her with the umbrella attacking a paparazzi's car. I'm no psychologist, but I I personally think that was just Brittany behaving in a way that What am I trying to say? I think that was Britney just behaving in a way, reacting to the stones that life was throwing at her at that moment in time. She was going through a lot back then. Um, You know, she'd broken up with the love of her life, Justin Timberlake. He was absolutely destroying her name at any opportunity he could. You know, he... uh, she basically became a bit of a laughing stock and the Crimea River, the whole thing around that and the the jokes that he was making were directly aimed at her. Even if he didn't mention her name, everyone knew what the underlying message was. Um, that really tarnished her name and her career. Then, you know, her parents had their divorce. I believe her aunt died of cancer or at the time had been diagnosed with cancer. I'm not quite sure what stage she was at. 
that life was really just throwing some stones at her, her you know and then she had the relationship with Kevin Federline they had their two kids which obviously ended in divorce for her and Kevin that must have been difficult um she was absolutely hounded by the paparazzi back then she just could not take a single step without the paparazzi jumping all over her and we're not just talking one or two paparazzi we're literally talking dozens of them and i think the way she reacted back then was actually reasonable considering what she was up against what she was going through but that was the downward spiral which made her act out, do things that she probably shouldn't have done. But we all do things that we shouldn't do. We all say and do things in the heat of the moment, under stress, that we shouldn't do. And her stress was magnitude by 100 because she's doing it publicly. She's doing it with paparazzi in her face 24-7. She couldn't even dye her hair with without people questioning why. Why has she suddenly gone brunette? There must be a reason. You know, and kind of the interrogation and, oh, we love it. Oh, we hate it. Oh, Britney this. Oh, Britney that. She can't put on a tiny bit of weight without people jumping all over her. Her hair has to be perfect. Her skin had to be flawless. She was under intense scrutiny 24-7 at a very young age. So, yeah, it led to the downward spiral of Britney. And that led to the conservatorship, which I believe originally was only supposed to be temporary. Um, and her dad was the one who was controlling every aspect of her life. Um under kind of the rules i guess of the conservatorship i don't know how or why that became permanent because literally months after this conservatorship came into play she was back on television britney was back on television acting performing releasing her album and it kind of doesn't make sense like if she's that incapable and i think this is the strongest argument that the free britney movement has if she was that incapable of looking after herself needs someone else to make every single decision for her how is it just a mere few months later she's back on the grind Like, that doesn't make sense at all. Um, and recent rumours are that on um, the documents to put her in this conservatorship, they basically listed that she had early onset dementia, which 12 years later we can safely say isn't the case. She's clearly not suffering from that at all. This was 12 years ago. She's been in this conservatorship for 12 years. Like, I'm sure she... Well, I'm not sure. That's that's the problem. I'm a fan, but I don't know her. But she's definitely not suffering from dementia. Because if she was, she'd really be deep in it by now, 12 years on. And she clearly isn't. Um. So, it, yeah, I I do wonder what is going on what is so serious that put her in this conservatorship but the decision was made that she was still able to deal with the grueling schedule of a world tour she was still able to go on live television she was still able to act she was still able to learn those lines she's still able to learn complex dance routines but she's not allowed to drive a car she's not capable of driving a car but she can go on stage and do a backflip that's okay how i 
that doesn't make sense. And I think that's the strongest argument that the free Britney movement has. Um, so the free Britney movement has been growing legs for quite some time now. And yesterday she was in court and apparently all she wanted to do was remove her dad as the sole conservator right now he stepped down and um i think her manager jody is currently in charge of britney's personal affairs but her dad is still in charge of her finances he only stepped back because he had a health scare last year and um that was the reason why she cancelled her domination tour um las vegas residency it's interesting that he stepped down from everything apart from the money aspect to me that's interesting like why would you why would you be so sure that britney needs to remain in this conservatorship but you'll back down from running her personal affairs, but you won't let go of the money. I re I don't know. Like, I think her dad is quite shifty in this. I think he needs to go out and get a real job and leave Britney alone and leave her finances alone. I think even if the judge thinks that Britney should stay in a conservatorship, I think they should hire someone kind of independent to Britney to do that rather than her dad imagine being 38 and being run by your own dad and let's not forget her dad isn't allowed to see her children they have a restraining order against him we don't know the full details as to why that is but her sons have a restraining order against her dad and her dad controls her entire life. What judge agreed to that? Like, why? What? What is it that we don't have? What information do we not have that led to that extreme of a decision? So either something very strange is going on here and Britney is being held captive and there's truth to the Free Britney movement or the Free Britney movement is just a load of garbage. We don't know. This is the thing. As fans, we like to think that we know our favourite celebrity. But deep down we don't. And, and, that's, and that's the truth of it. And that's not me agreeing that Britney should be in a conservative because in my heart of hearts... I don't think she should be in a conservatorship. I don't think that extremity is necessary. Like, we've got Kanye West, who suffers from... What does he suffer from? Is it bipolar disorder? Or is it de it's depression? I don't know. But he, he clearly has mental health issues, and he has spoken about it, and he acts out... But he's not in a conservatorship. In fact, he's running for president. Why is it that Kanye can run for president whilst having his mental health issues, but Britney can't? What is it that separates their two disorders? And I know mental health is a very complex thing and it's never the same between two people. But I say it in the sense of why is Britney in a conservatorship? Because my understanding of a conservatorship is someone who is either a child and just completely incapable of making their own decisions or has a mental health disorder that's so extreme that they literally cannot function on a day-to-day -day basis. In which case, she shouldn't be able to articulate herself she shouldn't be able to talk. She shouldn't be able to remember her lines um, when she's acting. She shouldn't be able to memorise complex dance routines. She shouldn't be able to 
write songs for her albums and then release them and like this woman is making millions upon millions every year am i supposed to believe that she's incapable of running her life and that's why she's in this conservatorship and interestingly she wasn't trying to get out i think in the past she has tried to get out of the conservatorship but yesterday when she was in court her request wasn't to end the conservatorship the request was to remove her dad as the sole conservator and give it to someone else why was that rejected her dad isn't allowed to see her children he clearly has problems that has resulted in him not being allowed to see his own children but yet he's been granted access full access to Britney's life and her finances I don't get it that that doesn't add up to me what are we missing because Britney is capable like she can put a sentence together she can speak she can think She's out riding bicycles with her boyfriend. But why does she need to be in such an extreme conservatorship? It really doesn't make any sense. And I really hoped that she would get out of the conservatorship. But it's looking like she probably won't be able to. I would have thought by now she's proved herself to be okay. At the very least, they should be slowly easing her out of the conservatorship and giving her back control bit by bit. But that doesn't seem to be the case either. Like, she's not even allowed to talk about the conservatorship. She's been doing these really strange Q&As on her instagram where she's basically saying that she's answering the questions that her fans are have been asking her but the questions that she's answering are not questions that i have seen being asked of her like her fans are not asking her what her favorite disney movie is we've got a whole free britney movement going on No one is asking her what her favourite Disney movie is. So why is she going on Instagram and answering that question in the same video where she's saying that she's answering the, the questions coming in from her fans? She's not stupid. She knows that she's not getting those questions. And the people that are running her life know that she's not getting those questions. So why are they allowing her to put these videos up on Instagram if they run her life and she's not allowed to control her own social media and if she is allowed to control her own social media then she wouldn't be posting the things that she's posting because nobody asked her about her favourite Disney movie it's um, I don't really know what to think because I'm a very, um, I always balance out my thinking. Like I try and think about things from both sides as much as I can. And she, I mean, I do believe she has mental health issues and she needs support and is probably a little bit naive and let's, and is a bit too, um, trusting of people and perhaps forgiving of people but i don't think she's plain stupid that she can't run her own life i don't think she's that far gone to a point where she needs to be in a conservatorship that allegedly has her so restricted um But it looks like she's in this until next year and they'll probably extend it again. It's just strange. It's just strange 
that she's in this conservatorship full stop. I think once upon a time it made sense for her to kind of lose the decision making just because she wasn't making very good decisions herself but like I say she was under extreme stress and pressure and what she needed was someone to just say Brittany let's leave LA let's leave New York or wherever she was at the time let's just go back home and let people forget about you for a quick second like at that point she was a multi-millionaire she didn't need the money she didn't need to release another album she didn't need to go on a world tour she didn't need another acting job she could have just disappeared off the face of the earth just gone back to louisiana taken a minute to get herself back into gear and come back when she was ready mentally ready like what she needed was someone to advise her that back then. But instead she's been put in this conservatorship and they've basically had her working and grinding ever since. And she's getting more negative attention now than ever before. And this is the conservatorship that she's in. If the conservatorship was that needed for her, then they're obviously not doing a good job of it because they've made things worse. They've ruined her reputation. Like, it it just doesn't make sense to me. And I don't know, I'm torn. I'm torn between... Is this Britney? Is, has she really just gone off the edge a bit? Or is she simply just self-sabotaging because there's literally nothing else she can do? She's making other people a hell of a lot of money by not having the power to take away their power. They control every aspect of her life. She's the one that has to do the grind. And then they make a ton of money. She too is making a ton of money, but she just doesn't have access to it. That's mad. You know, and there's rumours that she's basically just playing ball because if she doesn't, they'll take away her children from her. And they're basically just using that against her, which is awful. Um... I I just really hope, because she seems like a really, really nice person. She's not, you know, she's never been bitchy. She's never been the type of artist who tries to drag other people down to bring herself up. She's never done that. She's pretty much stayed out of, like, drama with other people, beef with other people, like the whole thing with Christina Aguilera, that was basically created by the media. They needed to pit her up against someone and Christina was the one. And Christina, I think, was the one who kind of played into that a bit more because she's done the whole, I love Britney, I hate Britney, I love Britney, I hate Britney thing way more than Britney has. The whole thing with Justin was very much led by him. Um... Anything else, like any other controversies that she's been involved in, has basically been about herself. Like some of her performances, whether it was kind of the ripping off the suit and the kind of nude, sparkly outfit that she wore at the MTV Awards, or Dancing with the Snake, or The Kiss with Madonna. These were all things in a performance level that only really impacted her they could have gone really well they could have gone really bad but the only person it would have impacted was herself like she's never dragged another person down to big herself up she's always just taken the risk herself um so yeah she seems like a really nice person and i really hope that she is happy and that the people around her aren't just taking full-blown advantage of her and 
that one day, I, I really do hope that one day she can get out of this conservatorship and just live her life. Because I think at this point, all she wants to do is just live her life, be in a relationship, have a relationship with her kids and just live. I think I think she likes performing, but she hasn't been able to do it the way that she wants. I think her career has always somewhat been controlled by other people. I don't know if it's gone quite the way that she would have liked it to. Again, there's lots of conspiracy theories that she doesn't get to use her real voice and that her real voice is actually a lot deeper. I've And I have to be honest, I've heard snippets of her voice which are very different from the audio that we get from her at times on, on the albums that she releases. And the, the conspiracy theory there is that her record label or her producers and her management wanted her to put on this baby voice because it's more commercial and that they didn't like her deeper, stronger voice. But her deeper, stronger voice is actually a lot better than the baby voice that we've all gotten so used to. Um, I don't know. I As much as I love Britney and I love her music, I think she has been very controlled and set up to basically be marketed in a way that just produced money. And it's a shame because she's a person. She's a person with feelings. She's a very nice person. She's an incredibly talented person who could have been very successful without the interference of other people and the baby voice and all that what I would like to see in the future is for Britney to be released from this conservatorship and I'd like to see her re her reinvent herself and use that deeper voice and I don't know I kind of almost want like maybe a double album from her like maybe an acoustic type of album very stripped back album where she sings songs straight from the heart Um, An album that isn't necessarily commercial, just a very raw album from Britney is what I would like to see and hear from her with her real voice. Um, I know I said I really love the Glory album, but one thing about that album is how sexed up it was. Everything about it was sex. Come on over. Come on over. I want to do this to you. Sex, 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 sex. There's more to her than just that, and I would like to see a side of her where she actually sings about things that are important to her, sings about her own feelings, because I think Britney's got a lot to say, and I think she's experienced a lot. And it doesn't need to be a name and shame, it doesn't need to be a I'm going to drag you, just songs with meaning because I mean she's not surely she's not going to hit 50 and 55 and 60 and still be singing about sex right I mean maybe by then she would have retired who knows but she's at an age now where the whole sex sales thing they need to push that to the side and let the new generation take over that and she needs to do something a bit more meaningful so I would like yeah quite a raw stripped back album from her and maybe it be a double album and then the other side can be a bit more of the Britney that we know a bit more urban I think um 
less robotic, less auto-tune, just a more raw Britney experimenting with her vocals because that was what I really liked about the Glory album, her voice. Like, she did so much more with her voice on that album than we've had from her previously. And I liked that. I think she sounded really good in the Glory album. I actually think she sounded at probably her best in the Glory album. Um, But yeah, I think first and foremost, I'd like to see her come out of the conservatorship and just get back to making the music that she wants to make. I don't think she needs to be on stage wriggling around in the skimpy outfits anymore. Um, I I just think she's got so much more to give. I think she's a really deep talent who is being restricted. Like, just for a second, imagine being that creative and not being able to share that talent. Your talent is her talent. It's her voice. It's her. It's her mind. It's her body. But she's got people controlling her. Yeah, I would like to see her freed. I'm definitely in the free Britney side of things. Um, she might need help. She, like, like I say, I'm sure the mental health issues are there and she just needs good solid people around her to um guide her when she needs it i think she needs her mum i think her mum has better intentions for her than her dad does i think her dad's maybe gotten a bit too greedy i just got a message i'm basically recording off my phone i don't know if that sound would have popped up there it probably did but hey ho i haven't fixed my recording problems last time i tried to record on a proper microphone it went tits up listen to my last um <laughs> listen to my last upload and you'll hear all about it there um but anyway i think that's all for this podcast guys let me know what you think in the comments below what do you think about the whole britney situation do you think what she's going through is right for her or do you believe in the free Britney movement and that she should come out of the conspiracy um the conspiracy do you think she should come out of the conservatorship let me know in the comments below subscribe like all that fun jazz and I'll be back soon until then take care guys bye